Hi friends, welcome back. Today we're talking about surface area and finding the surface area of uh, 3D shapes. So uh, I've got a little cheat sheet here for you. We've got the area of how you find the area of all these shapes here. Uh, you may want to pause the video and write these guys down. And then for our surface area, here is your cheat sheet for the formulas here. And we'll go over those uh, on these example problems, but you may want to pause the video and write those down as well. Okay, so this is lesson 15. We are going to be talking about uh, finding the surface area of these guys. The first one is my favorite because it's super easy. You'll notice we have that technically this is what the formula looks like. Surface area equals two times the length times the width plus two times the width times the height plus two times the height times the length. I think that that's a little bit more complicated than it needs to be. Here's what you do. We've got three numbers here. We have two, three, and four. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply two times three, two times four, and three times four. Let's do that. We get six, eight, and 12. Now we're going to add those guys up. That gives us 26. We're going to times that by two and we end up with 52. Units are in centimeters, so it's 52 centimeters squared. Remember, surface area is like the outside of the package. So like a wrapping, if you had a gift that looked like this, uh, the surface area would be the wrapping paper that covers it, right? If it was covered, uh, no overlapping, that kind of thing. So uh, that would be 52 centimeters squared would cover all of these six sides here. Okay, so the next one is, is this is called a prism. It's called a rectangular prism or a cube. A cube is going to be all three sides are the same, uh, and you would use the same formula in order to do this. The next thing that we're going to talk about are prisms that are not rectangular. These are prisms that are shaped like something else. How can you tell if a prism is not uh, rectangular? What you're doing is you're looking at your prism, and if there is any shape other than a rectangle on it, then you need to, uh, then you know that that's, it's that type of a, a prism. So like in this case, the, the shape here that's not a rectangle is a triangle. So it's a triangular prism. Triangular prism. Okay, why this is important is because we're gonna be talking about, this guy right here is the area of the base. All right, and you need to know that your base is not actually what it's sitting on right here, the bottom part. Your base is whatever that shape is that is not a rectangle, in this case, the triangle. So our base is here. Now, the other thing you need to know is the height is what connects your two bases. So our height here is not four, our height is six because that connects two bases. So now that we know this and we've broken this prism down, let's do our lateral area. Our lateral area is all the stuff that does not include the bases. So we're not doing this triangle or the triangle that's on the back there. Uh, the way we find this is the height times the perimeter of the base. And again, remember the base is not what it's sitting on, it's the triangle. The height is what connects our two bases. So our height is gonna be six, and our base here, perimeter, is we just add up all the sides, right? So we end up here, we've got 12. Four plus three plus five gives us 12. So our height is six, and our perimeter is 12. Awesome. Uh, I always do simple math on my calculator because I make a mistake, and then you guys tell me about it in the comments. So bear with me, 72. I knew it was 72, but I would second guess myself. So our lateral area, that would be like this thing, and then the, the back, and then the bottom. That is going to be 72 uh, meters squared. Okay, so now the surface area. What we do is we find that lateral area, which we already know is 72, plus 2 times the area of the base. When you see a big B like that, that means the area of the base. Again, our base is not what it's sitting on. It is whatever the shape is that is not the rectangle. So in this case, it's this triangle. If you look back to your cheat sheet, in order to find the area of a triangle, we take this base right here and we multiply it by the height. It's three times four, and then we cut it in half. So three times four is gonna give me 12. So 12 divided by two gives me six. All right, so we now know the area of the base is six. So we come back over here and say, okay, that's six. So we have 72 plus 12, that's gonna give me the entire surface area is 84. Let's go back, look, units are in meters, so meters squared. Units are meters squared, awesome. All right, so this next one is um, a circular prism, which we call a cylinder, right? Because the uh, non-rectangle parts are the circles. 
Here's how we find the surface area for that. First, we find the lateral area. The best way to think about this is it's a soup can. And if you have a can of soup, the label would be your lateral area. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our lateral area, we're gonna take two times the radius. And remember your radius is just this little bit right here. And we're gonna multiply it by the height of the actual. And, and again, sometimes you'll see these that are laying on their side. Your height is technically what is connecting those two non-rectangular things. So uh, connecting the two circles. So that's 10, n times that by pi. Uh, all right, so that gives us, I'm gonna leave this in terms of pi. I could multiply by 3.14, but I don't wanna do that because in terms of pi is a much more accurate answer. Two times four is eight times 10 is 80. So 80 pi uh, inches squared. All right, now to find the surface area, we take that lateral area, which is 80 pi plus two times the radius squared. And remember our radius is four here. So we're gonna say two times four squared, which we know is 16. 16 times two is gonna be 32. So we got surface area equals 80 pi plus 32 pi. We're, we're allowed to combine those guys uh, because they both have a pi on it. And so 80 pi, it's just like if you would with a, um, when you have common uh, like terms, right? If you had, uh, let me do this down here. If you had like 80x plus 32x, you'd be able to combine those guys and say, okay, that's two, eight, nine, 10, 11, one, 12 pi. And this would be like 112x, right? That's the same idea. Uh, okay. So 112 uh, units are inches squared. That is your total. Now, from this point, you'll probably see in the book that they do multiply by 3.14. So 112 times 3.14, that would give us approximately 351.68 inches squared. All right, next one. Uh, number four here for the example. This one is a little bit different. It is a wonky shaped, oh, I can't even draw it. You guys look in your book, that's a better better drawing. Um, this one's a wonky shape and that is, uh, what we what we wanna do for these really weird ones, it's called a composite. The bottom is a composite because it's two different shapes that are added together. So uh, what we wanna do first is find the perimeter and the area of, of this guy down here. So first let's find the perimeter. Remember your perimeter is adding up all the sides. So I'm gonna put a five here. Now, your perimeter of a circle is called a circumference. Here's how I remember this. Cherry is delicious pie. Circumference is the diameter times pi. And remember your diameter goes all the way across your circle, okay? So if we look at this, our radius is three so our diameter here would be six. And we know that because this is, we're told this is six as well. Uh, so our perimeter is uh, five plus five is 10 plus six is 16 plus. Now, so our diameter would be six pi, but remember there's only half a circle there, right? So we're gonna take our diameter six pi and we need to cut that in half because there's only half a circle. So we're gonna say three pi. All right, so there's our perimeter of this, this guy down here. Now we have to find the area. The area is gonna be this six times five, which gives us 30. And then the area of the circle, which again, remember it's a semicircle that'll come in, in handy because we're gonna cut it in half again. Just like I said, cherry is delicious pie. Apple pies are two. Uh, I like to put my pie at the end, oh, just drew a line right through it. I like to put my pie at the end like a dessert, right? So apple pies are two. So our area here is gonna be the radius squared times pi. So that's three squared times pi. But remember, we only have half of it. So nine pi, but we only have half, so we're gonna divide it in half. Nine, half of nine is five, uh, 4.5. So 4.5. Okay, so now we have our perimeter and we have our area of our base. Now, what we've gotta do for this, the lateral area, again, this is like if this were a soup can, it would be the label, right? The, the stuff that's not including the base on top and bottom. Uh, our lateral area is gonna be our height of our figure, which I think we said was 10 feet here, right? So this is 10 feet. So our height is 10 feet. And then our perimeter, which we already know is 16 plus three pi. 
All right, so our lateral area is 160 plus 30 pi using our distribution property. All right, now our surface area, this guy is our lateral area plus two times capital B. And again, that capital B is the area of the face. So our lateral area, which we know is all this garbage right here. So we're gonna put that down here, 160 plus 30 pi plus two times the area of the base, which we know is 4.5 pi. All right, so let's simplify this guy. So we've got, I could probably get a little closer in there. Sorry about that. Uh, okay, so we've got 160 plus 30 pi plus two times 4.5 gives us nine pi. So we end up with 160 plus 39 pi. Uh, okay, so the, okay, I just need to double, no wait, I messed up, I, this should be 220, what did I do there? Okay, so, give me one second here. Okay, I did make a mistake here. Guys, back at this area here, Remember I said this was 30? I forgot to add that to this. So the area is 30 plus 4.5 pi. So how does that affect our answer? No big deal. Over here, we're gonna make this 30 plus 4.5 pi. So that means when we use our distribution property, we end up with 60 plus nine pi. So let me get rid of that. Okay, so now that we've got that corrected, uh, 60 and 160, is going to give us, I don't know why I just put that in my calculator because I feel like I'm going to make a mistake if I don't. Uh, our surface area is 60 and uh, 160 and 60 gives us 220 plus 30 pi and 9 pi gives us 39 pi. Uh, units are feet squared. So you could leave it like that in terms of pi because that would be the most efficient way to do it uh, or more, maybe not most efficient, most accurate way of doing that. Uh, but this guy, if you wanted to do your decimal form, you would end up with 342.52. This may be different than the book because, uh, one, because I made a mistake, and two, because it depends on when you multiply by 3.14 or if you're multiplying using the pi button on your calculator. So you just want to get as close as possible to that. All right, guys, here are the practice problems. There's A and B. Uh, and then here is C and D. So pause as you need to. I want you to do those practice problems and then come on back. All right, guys. So here are the answers to the practice problems. If you got those, great, move on, you're, you're done. Uh, if you did not, stick around and we'll go over these. Okay, let's look at number one. Find the surface area. Dimensions are in inches. So again, this is the one I like to do. We've got two, three, and four. So we're gonna do two times three, two times four, and three times four. So 12, eight, six, that's gonna give us 26. We are going to multiply that by two. I feel like this was the same one that we already did. I'll have to double check that. Uh, that is gonna be uh, 52 inches squared, bam. Uh, okay, now this one, again, this is a triangular prism. Our bases are not what's on the bottom. It's gonna be the triangles are the bases. So we've got the lateral area equals the height, and the height is what connects the two bases, uh, 12 times our perimeter. And remember, we find our perimeter by adding up all these guys outside. So uh, we've got six, uh, so 14 and 10, 24. Making sure, man, I feel like I'm gonna make another mistake here. I don't know how to edit videos, so I just, that's why you got that long pause in there for when I made that mistake. Sorry. All right, 12 times 24. All right, for that guy, we end up with 288. And then our surface area is going to be that 288, because that's the, a lateral area, plus 2 times the area of the base. Remember, our base is a triangle, and it's 6 times 8, which is 48. But then we, because it's a triangle, we got to snip, snip, cut it in half, right? So 24. All right, so 2 times 24. 2 times 24 gives me 48, so I get 288 plus uh, 48, and so that gives me 288 plus 48 is 336, and our dimensions are in feet, so feet squared.
All right, next one, cylinder. Okay, so for this guy right here, uh, we find our lateral area, which is gonna be two times the radius times the height. So LA equals two times our radius, which is 20, times our height, which is 200 pi. All right, two times that times that gives me 8,000. Throwing some large numbers at you, 8,000 pi. Okay, let's go over to our surface area. We're gonna add our uh, lateral area in. That is uh, 8,000 pi plus, I'm running out of room here, so I'm gonna do it right below. Two times the radius squared. Let's go back over here. Our radius squared, our radius is 20. So if we square that, that's 400. So two, and then we have uh, times 400, because that's 20 squared. That's gonna be 800 pi. So we end up with, 8,800 pi, uh, or you can plug that into a calculator and you end up with 27,632 centimeters squared. All right, let's look at D. These ones again are wonky. Look, you can see there's the answers. Um, the For this guy, let's do perimeter and area of the base first. All right, perimeter is gonna be this plus this, which is 18 plus the circumference, because that's what we call this, the perimeter of a circle is called our circumference. And remember, cherry is delicious pie, but it's only half, so we're gonna cut that in half. All right, our diameter here is gonna be six, because this three would make that three and this three, but six cut in half, so it would be six pi cut in half, so it's gonna be three pi. So, uh, so plus three pi, that's gonna be the perimeter of the whole figure on the outside. Now we gotta do the area. The area of a triangle is the base times the height, and you gotta be careful here. The base and the height need to make a right angle, okay? This is not a height here, this is 10. Remember we said this was three and this is three, that's six. So six times eight is 48, but snip, snip, it's triangle, we gotta cut it in half. So, uh, so our area is 48 divided by two, okay? plus the area of the circle. Uh, the area of the circle, again, is the radius squared times pi, but we gotta cut it in half because there's only half of it. Three squared is nine, so we would have nine pi cut in half for our area. That's 4.5 pi. So plus, uh, oh, I'll just even write it in here. Nine pi divided by two. So what we end up with is 24 plus 4.5 pi for our area. So our perimeter is this garbage, our area is this garbage. All right, now we're ready to use our formulas. Uh, all right, height times the perimeter. Remember the height is what connects the two things together. Uh, that's this thing right here. So it's gonna be 10 meters times the perimeter, which we come back over here, we get 18 plus three pi. Uh, that's gonna give me 180 plus 30 pi for our lateral area. Okay, so for surface area, we're gonna take our lateral area, which we know is 180 plus 30 pi, plus two times the capital B means the area of the base. Come back over here, our area of our base is 24 plus 4.55. So 24 plus 4.5 pi. Ooh, squeeze that in there, sorry guys, this is messy. I'm not usually this messy, but surface area is a pain. All right, so surface area equals 180 plus 30 pi plus 48 plus 9 pi. All right, we are going to uh, combine our like terms here. I got 180, I got 48. Let me just make sure. 180 plus 48 gives me 228. Good. Surface area equals 228 plus. Now I've got 30 pi and 9 pi. 39 pi. If you plug that all into a calculator, you end up with 350.46. Again, you might be off by a couple of decimals just depending on if you use your uh, pi button or when you multiply. Uh, all right, hopefully that helps, guys. If you have any questions, leave them below and I will be happy to get back with you. Thanks so much.